<laughs> Believe it or not, these kids are performing in a play, just without an audience or a theatre. They're part of the ABC's very first fictional podcast for kids called McElroy Uncovered. So McElroy is this, is this small country town and it, and it kind of follows the story of two high school friends, uh, Tang and Mitch, who um, Tang's always really curious. What's the matter? What is it? There's someone over there. She gets a bit too curious and stumbles upon a certain spoiler that I'm not going to reveal. Basically, fiction podcasts are like movies without the pictures or an audio book with sound effects. And while the name fictional podcasts is relatively new, the idea certainly isn't. Hello, Kay. Hello, Paul. <laughs> I adore you. I Before TV existed, radio was king. In the field east of the village of Families Hill. huddled around to listen to radio plays in all sorts of genres, from soap operas... Who oh, whatever will Hilda say? To horrors. Oh, what are you going to do to me? Don't look at me! While movies had corny and pretty expensive special effects, radio plays could let your imagination run wild, and for a fraction of the price. In fact, in 1938, this radio drama, adapted from the book War of the Worlds, caused a bit of a stir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most terrifying thing I've, I've ever witnessed. Newspapers reported people actually thought aliens were invading Earth. And the narrator of the play, Orson Welles, had to apologise the day after it was broadcast. We are deeply shocked and deeply regretful about the results of uh, last night's broadcast. But in the 1950s, everything changed. Hello there, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen and children. OK, well, not everything. While many people predicted TV would replace radio, it carried on. So would you welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen, Governor Roslin and his mum, Tracy. And today, business is kind of booming. The rise of podcasting has seen a renaissance of radio dramas. And digital sound effects mean I can take you from a rainforest to an airplane with the click of a button. See, fiction podcasts are super popular because it's like listening to a movie wherever you go. I can listen while I walk, while I drive, and even while I work. Hey, you finished that fiction podcast story? That yeah, fiction we're story? watching it. Yeah, I think fiction podcasts are a really cool thing because it really gets the audience to kind of channel their imagination and, and use it and use a different part of their brains. The rise of fiction podcasts has also given young actors like Naya the opportunity to try a whole new world of audio performance. I've always loved love speaking <laughs> um, in general but yeah fiction podcasts kind of channel a certain part of my personality that I, I really I really like so next time you need a movie on the go why not try a fiction podcast or if you're like me why not make your own aliens have invaded the ABC 